Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to take the opportunity to show you Team Delta's product, TweetGov. Now, the task that we were set was really cool. With a general election in the next three months, uh, voter confidence is at a real low, and there is a risk of a hung parliament. So, with this in mind, it was the aim of Team Delta to uh, analyse politicians' tweets and compare them to parties' official lines in terms of speeches, policies and manifestos. With this classification data, we then had to produce visualisations showing to the users and voters exactly how politicians tweet, if they just copy the party line when they tweet, or if they use their imagination, such as when they fill in their expense forms. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, the results of TweetGov are simply outstanding. Let me show you some. Now, here we have the real pièce de résistance of TweetGov, the triangle of allegiance. Now, each corner of the, of the triangle represents the ideals of a party, and each dot represents a politician. So, however close a dot is to a corner represents how close the tweets of that politician match the ideas of the party. So, here, for example, we have a conservative politician who isn't tweeting in line with his party, and yet these politicians are. The second way that we show data to our users is through the live feed. Now, on the live feed, we spent a great amount of time. We wanted to get it just right, and the end result is really, really good. Now, by default, we align tweets to the left of the feed. However, when a politician tweets against their party line, we show the tweet on the right-hand side. Uh, the other feature which we've built into the live feed is policy filtering. So if you were just interested in one policy, be it health or education, you can just see the tweets regarding that one policy, which is a really great feature for the users. We also let users see trends in politics. So one way that we do that is through the word cloud. Now our word cloud shows the most popular uh, tweets, uh, the most popular words used in tweets in the last 24 hours. Users then can then click on any word to find out uh, which tweets feature that word and see their classifications. So with all these great visualizations, how do we actually generate this, these classifications in the data? Well, TweetGov has a list of politicians who are on Twitter. So here we have Eric Pickles, the Conservative Party uh, chairman. Now, he recently tweeted this message. So on seeing this tweet, the first thing that TweetGov does is strip out any fluff from the tweet, producing a list of keywords. We then feed these keywords into our classifier. We're using a three-phase Bayes classifier. Now, the classifier compares these keywords with a training database of over 200,000 words from different tweets. It uses these, this library to work out initially if the tweet is political or not. If it is political, it can then go on to work out which party the tweet represents the ideas of and which topic the tweet is about. We then store the information from uh, the classifier into our database. Uh, the, the information in the database is then fed through to our front ends, where it's used to generate the uh, triangle of allegiance, the word cloud, and the live feed. So it is with these three great features that TweetGov has already attracted users from 14 different countries of the world. And I'm sure you'll agree with me that with the release of tweetgov.co.uk, Politics will never be the same again. Yeah.